New relationships feel amazing. New love is intoxicating. And if I could bottle and sell the feelings evoked by new love, I think I'd be a billionaire. But like many things bottled, it cannot stay in there forever and can become weaker and faint over time. If you have been together for a short while, let's say less than six months, and you are ready to move in together and maybe even get married, then you may be moving too fast. So here are the signs to look for. If you are those close to you, think you may need to slow things down and that you don't really even know your partner. Sign number one, they seem almost perfect. So let's be clear. No one is perfect. If your new love seems perfect, then they are either hiding their true character from you or you are allowing yourself to be blinded by lust and emotions. You are in that romantic, can't get enough of each other stage. So relationships in the early stages feel the best because they are not based in reality and exist almost in a bubble. There is no real history between the two of you. There's no turmoil. There's no frustrations. Just that excitement and that newness. But once the newness wears off, do you think you'll truly know that person you're with? Sign number two, you don't know how they handle stress or difficult situations. Life is stressful and the unexpected will happen. In the early stages of relationships, people will wear masks and put their best foot forward. However, we all have a bad side, and some bad sides are worse than others. Nothing will test a relationship and show you someone's bad side, or their best for that matter, like dealing with professional stresses, financial issues, emotional stress, crisis, and loss. If you don't know how they handle life struggles firsthand, then you don't know them. Sign number three. You don't feel comfortable discussing certain topics with them. Topics like religion and politics are hot button issues for many people, but especially for people who do not know each other well and are not completely comfortable with each other. Do you know how your partner feels about recreational drug use, organized religion, or abortion? Whether you agree with each other or you agree to disagree on the topics, you should know where they stand if you are planning a future together. Sign number four, you don't know much about their past. They are so great, yet they're single, right? So why did they get divorced? Or why have they never been married? Your partner's past may give you somewhat valuable information about what you can expect in your future together. Did they have domestic violence issues with their ex or jealous controlling tendencies? Are they a deadbeat dad or have they declared bankruptcy? If you cannot answer these questions with certainty, you do not know your partner. Sign number five, you don't know their family. To understand someone, you need to know where they come from and where they have been. Have you met their parents? What is their relationship like with their parents? Are they close? Is the relationship respectful? It matters for many reasons. Will your relationship require approval of their family? What does your partner's family have to say about their exes? Remember, if this is going to be a person who's part of your future, then their family will be your family. You need to get to know them. At the end of the day, we all have to decide what's best for us. Love can make us foolish and you cannot tell a fool anything. I recommend you ask yourself, what's the rush? Is this your MO and is this their MO? Are you repeating a bad pattern of fast tracking a relationship only to be disappointed and let down in the end? If you want this relationship to work and be different, then you need to do something different. So I say slow it down, take your time and don't let your emotions rule you. You can be a romantic and smart about your heart too. So what are your thoughts about moving too fast in a relationship? Do you tend to take it slow or go head first into any relationship? Do you think there's a specific time frame that it was appropriate for moving in or getting married? Please share your thoughts. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.